Hello everyone, welcome to Infiga. In this video, we are going to solve one quartic equation. Equation is x times x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6 is equal to minus 16. So let's get started. If you observe numbers are this x, we can think about x plus 0 it is, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. So the middle way, middle term would be, so I will substitute y is equal to x plus 3, the midway, mid term. Once I will do that, equation will convert into x means y minus 3, x plus 2 means y minus 1, x plus 4, so it will be y plus 1, x plus 6, so add 3 to both sides, y plus 3 equal to negative 16. Now let us write y minus 3, y plus 3, y minus 1, y plus 1 is equal to negative 16. Now we know that a minus b into a plus b can be written as a square minus b square, difference of squares. So I will write, for this I will write y square minus 9. Let me write y square minus 9. And for this pair I will write y square minus 1. So that product is equal to negative 16. If you will further simplify it, it will come out y power 4, y square times y square, y power 4 y square times negative 1, it would be negative y square, minus 9 y square, so minus 10 y square plus 9 is equal to negative 16. Add 16 to both sides, so y power 4 minus 10 y square plus 25 is equal to 0. So this is one quartic equation for which we have to find the solution. So let me consider y square is equal to t. So our equation will convert into t square minus 10t plus 25 is equal to 0. Let's solve this equation. t square minus 10t plus 25 is equal to 0. So A is 1, B is negative 10, C is 25. Let me find out discriminant delta. Delta is B square minus 4AC. So B square means minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 25. That value will come out minus 10 square is 100 minus 100. Discriminant is 0. If discriminant is 0, means repetitive roots. Repetitive roots and real, of course. So, roots will be let's find out. So, t is equal to minus b. So, minus of minus 10 plus minus square root, that part is already 0, over 2a, so 2. So, t is equal to 5. That means, let us substitute put back, so t, t was y square. y square is equal to 5. That means, y will be equal to plus minus root 5. And see, because of it is quartic equation, so repetitive roots are there. So roots are plus root 5, plus root 5, minus root 5, minus root 5. So let me write the complete solution. Plus root 5, plus root 5, minus root 5, and negative root 5. Now let's find out x. So initial, we considered x plus 3 equal to y 
this was our substitution so x will be equal to minus 3 plus y so our answer will become x is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 5 this is our ultimate and final answer i hope you like this video please solve one new series pq that is practice prop problem or practice question it is called pq series similar kind of question you have you have to solve it and write your answer in comment box i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel thanks a lot